Yes, we are here in the beautiful Skanno studio with our new and interesting guest. Uh, welcome Ville Ylläsjärvi, co-founder of Haltian. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Antero just um, uh, said that it's not easy for anybody, for any company to find the uh, right uh, IoT strategy. Um, tell us about Haltian and how did you get started with IoT and how is it going with you? Yeah, well, I, I think that it was way, way back. So I guess like seven years ago uh, when we were founding the company and we were looking at different business strategies. So we had this great team that we had been uh, building for, for many years in Oulu and uh, after it was free. So, of course, we thought that what we could be doing. And it was also the time that people were talking a lot about IoT and it yeah. was, I, I guess, on the very top of the hype curve at that time. Um, and we thought that, okay, so maybe it's actually a market where we can do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, because we, our team is great at creating new hardware uh, from rings into different kind of wearables, imaging devices. And we knew, knew about the hardware. And then we knew about connected devices. And we saw that, okay, in the future, uh, a lot of things will be connected. Yeah. And somebody needs to be building those uh, things. And that is, I guess, how it got started. And uh, we launched our very first product around 2014. Okay. Um, and that we had the value proposition of democratizing IoT. So anyone can make yeah. uh, these things. And I think that today we are still on the very same journey. So helping companies uh, to digitalize their businesses. And we're mo moving fast forward. Yeah. I just, not, not only IoT, but I just it was on BBC this morning that 2025, the estimate is that half of all the work in the world will be done by machines. So that's you know, part, sort of part of it. I mean, this huge revolution we're seeing at the moment. Yeah, and I, I think that that is also bringing like new challenges to companies. Mm -hmm. That when you don't have the human sensor uh, in all those processes, so you need to be really proficient at uh, collecting data and uh, creating insights of all of that data. And I think that today already we see that with our customers, so many of them are preparing for, for in a way, uh, helping their people to work better uh, as well as then when they are automating a lot of their uh, daily activities. So. And, re and regarding this piece of news, you say that, that robotization, that will create as many new jobs as will vanish. Some like 92 million new jobs within a few years now. Yeah. It's a lot, it's for, it's and Wille, Wille has said in, uh, you have said in your, some of your previous speeches that you, you firmly believe that everything that can be digitalized will be digitalized. Yeah, I uh, really strongly feel about that one because uh, if you think about like the big developments, what yeah. happened? So it's of course that companies want to perform better, so they seek for technologies that are helping them uh, in their daily operations. Uh, but then on the second area, there's a vast, vast ecosystem of IoT companies, yeah. which are building new solutions, which are helping companies. Yeah. And I, I feel that uh, with the technology, prices going down. Mm. So in the future, that is helping a lot of these companies to digitalize even the smallest parts of their businesses. Great. So now we will hear your presentation, how to realize the business value of IoT. Ville Ylläsjärvi, the stage is yours. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, hello everyone. So my name is Ville Ullesarvi and I'm from Haltian, a, a Finnish IoT and device development company. Uh, today I'm going to be spe speaking about the value creation part of IoT, since I really believe that uh, companies are today seeking that what IoT can be doing for them. Uh, but then I think that uh, there are still areas a lot of uh, the companies and, and businesses and people can be developing. And uh, one of the core areas of IoT is, is really to find those different ways that make it valuable for your business. And uh, then on the topic overall, so realizing 
business value of IoT is, is a delicate process and it involves different parts of your company. It's all the way from the technology innovation teams going uh, into the IT people, people that are working in the field. So everyone needs to be present there uh, to find those valuable areas or so those challenges that you have today uh, in your business and create insights out of that. And those insights are then the ones uh, that will be helping you uh, to find your own way uh, in the world of IoT. So, I think that the core proposition of IoT is, is to help companies like yours and uh, people who are working in the companies uh, to make more of what you have. I think that in every company you have processes uh, that are done by people. And I think that the IoT, when we have been working in the customer cases, so it's been helping our customers uh, to define those processes better. So meaning, for example, that if you're cleaning an airport, uh, you're cleaning those areas that are really in need of cleaning and changing from a scheduled uh, cleaning process into one where you actually go and fix those places that need fixing the most. And this has been then giving a lot of time for those people that are working on the field uh, to find better ways of working and save time for, for other tasks as well. And I think that the overall time that people spend doing their jobs has not decreased, but what they do with their job has been changing a lot. Uh, in many cases, when you look at the va value of IoT, so you need to be having like two different processes. One of them, of course, being about the cost side of your business. So defining areas uh, where you are able to find places that IoT actually could be help you decrease those costs. It could be, for example, that you have an inventory of uh, your products and everyone that is working the supply chains, they know that the inventories uh, should be moving at all times. So instead of sitting in a warehouse, IoT can help you uh, create better processes around moving your stuff around and therefore uh, decrease the time spent uh, in the warehouse. But this also brings, I think, the other area visible for, for using IoT for commercial purposes. So meaning that uh, with IoT technologies, it's not all, only about decreasing cost, but it's also about uh, creating new value, new revenues. And imagine that if 10% of your inventories would be moving faster, so that will have a huge impact on, on your business. So meaning that uh, you can find this business logic uh, out of there. And I think that the third area is also about uh, people and their views into how technology can help them. So I think that, uh, for example, in construction sites, you often come up uh, with a situation that uh, people are seeking for stuff. You should be painting the wall, but you don't know where the paint is. And I think that in the future, we'll be seeing a lot more uh, about this kind of solutions, which are helping people in their day-to-day -day jobs to perform better, uh, to do less mundane tasks, and, and to be able to get more done within the time that they're working for in the company. Uh, the, if you think about then the value that you have identified uh, in your business, so typically that has come after a very delicate process. And uh, I'm stating here that value is actually the starting point of any successful uh, IoT installation. So we typically have two types of customers, um, the ones that are seeking for value, so meaning that they are doing innovation exercises, they are doing pilots and they are doing proof of concepts to really try to figure out that how IoT could be helping them or how they could use technology for their benefit. But then we have the other 
type of customers who have come up with the value and, and those are the ones that tend to have more chances for, for success here. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, when you look at seeking value with IoT technologies, so you really need to go deep into the customer processes. And I, I've been here looking at this uh, business design side of IoT. So how can you actually go uh, and see your business with an empathic eye. So meaning that uh, you're able to see items that, uh, for example, people are frustrated when they have to clean up uh, clean buildings, for example. Or now, especially when the COVID has come. Uh, so a lot of companies are moving their operations completely remotely. And they maybe have half of their uh, real estate being unused. And then I think that that brings also like new, new opportunities for IoT in a way that, uh, for example, some of our customers, they are able to see that, okay, uh, we don't need to be cleaning those places as often, which are not used. So, so meaning that they are saving time and money every day uh, using smart technology. Uh, there's also, I think, that the human side of the technology, so meaning that uh, being able to use your spaces more efficiently and, and do the cleaning, for example, so that it's safe for people to come to work because not everyone has the possibility to work from home. So meaning that then, then maybe technology can be helping there. Uh, but getting to value, I think is a, a four step process. And I, I think that the first stage for every company should be about this value exploration. So meaning that you dig deep into your company your processes and identify those areas which could be potential uh, items for, for IoT. And then I think the second area is about the value validation. It's really to find out technologies that can help you with those issues and uh, make things click. And the third area there is then this kind of uh, value capture, so meaning that you implement those technologies, you create the pilots, you create the commercial solutions, which make, make it possible for, for you to improve your business uh, with IoT. Last but not least, so I'll finish my speech with the notion of how to do it. So as I stated earlier, so we have a vast ecosystem of companies that are building new IoT technologies. And uh, in every successful case, I've noted that there's always an ecosystem behind. So there are good companies, great innovators that are collaborating, creating new technologies, uh, which are able or giving you the possibility uh, to capture uh, the value of your IoT. It can be a technological ecosystem where you have a great technology and people are using that technology uh, to improve their businesses or, or, or the, the IoT solutions. But then it can be also like a design ecosystem, people who are able to see and identify the value in your company. And I think that the leading companies, they are really good at working with ecosystems. Thank you very much uh, for having me today. Thank you very much, Ville Ullaservi. I wonder if Ville is from Ullaservi, which is a very beautiful place up in, in, in the north, northern part of Finland. But we here in Green Room uh, are back. We are with uh, Jani Vehkalahti from Wirepass. Welcome, Jani. Thank you, Ella. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, tell us shortly with a few words about your company, Wirepass. What does it do? So Wirepass makes connectivity. We are technology house. And, and in I, any IoT project, you need to connect devices. And that's what we do. And in an affordable way. That's your, your, your um, sector then. Um, that was very efficiently, very well used, by the way, the short time to, <laughs> to, to explain Wirepass. Um, you obviously know Ville and Haltian as you arrived here together. Yes. Almost with the suiting suits and, and, and the same shirts. Uh, what do you think about Ville's values comes first approach that we just heard? I think that's very important to bring it up because we are working with the hundreds of companies every, every day. Um, 
we have a quite a, lo a large ecosystem globally. So one of the first things that I see in the beginning of that, they come with the technology first. So they come with the very technical question without kind of understanding that what's the value that they are bringing for the customer. Because that is also defining that how much you are afford to spend on doing that solution. So you really need to find that the, what's the, the value for the customer on the solution that you are building up. And that's important. And that's why also the partners like Haltian is, is good because they have walked through that with the many customers, which have a good idea, but they can also walk you through that, okay, so what's the value that you can bring to the customer and how we can packetize? What are the right technologies to, to, to solve that problem? So it's a dialogue. Yes. And it's a marathon. <laughs> yes, I suppose. I suppose that, that as well. I ha heard you also have experience on ecosystems. What are the key factors on choosing an ecosystem? Um, so we've been building our own ecosystem as a wire pass. So f last five years, so wire, uh, the Haltian was the one of the first visionary companies to joining our ecosystem. Um, at the time, I think Will uh, Pitch was saying, or in the interview side was saying that uh, that they believe that they can bring the value for their customers. And and uh, the kind of where you need to look is that uh, um, what's the core competence. So our core competence is to bring the, the wireless connectivity as a technology. They value is to be the solution provider. So they're selecting the right technologies for the use case. So you might be part of the many ecosystems. So it's not like that you are joining in a one club, but you can be part of the many clubs. The thing is in the ecosystem, like a definition even, you need to bring value to the ecosystem. So that's why it's important to identify yourself that where is my company value to the ecosystem? And then look what is available in the ecosystem and, and then make the solution time to market faster in the right cost point and make a happy customers. Wonderful. Very efficient uh, talk. Thank you very much. Yanni, your partner in crime uh, is waiting for you there. You enter together, probably you exit together as well. I think so. Thank you, Ella. Thank you very much. Cheers. And back to Peter.